Hey guys, you got Ryan right here. You also got. You got your one boy Razor. Cold and shit outside, so. Alright. This video is the impression of Killzone 3. Open now, beta. the open beta. <clears throat> pretty much what I'm gonna do is rant on the people who is ranting on Killzone 3 open beta. Ryan. Is gonna rant on the Killzone 3 open beta because that's the only beta that he did play on Killzone 3. While me and this side and me, for instance, I played the closed beta with had uh, three maps and it had a uh, different. Damn, why did I say game game modes? Different game modes. It had different game modes. It had a uh, bots. I was able to use jetpacks. I was able to use everything. Well, you know, you only had this. All right, go ahead, Ryan. You, you yeah. explain yourself first. All right, well, for one, all right, first of all, I didn't really, I played maybe an hour of it. I got disconnected a lot of times because it's a beta. Yeah, like. No, uh, you know what's the problem with that, though? For the connection service, everybody was joining okay, at everyone's the same joining, time. Everyone's downloading. The downloaded. servers were overloaded. And people don't seem to understand that. Yeah. Same problems happened in Xbox 360. So it's like, oh, we modern know. was it Modern Warfare two or part one or Modern Warfare one? I don't know. But I bought it day one. I couldn't be online on Xbox Live for like a day or two days. Yeah. And then part two on the PSN, I couldn't be on PSN for like a day or two days. Exactly. And then no, you know, I, game I think it was part that, one was though. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's part one. Halo two. two. Uh, Call of Reach. Four. All but right. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> so overloading the servers, y'all can't be crying because y'all can't connect it. First of all, it's a beta. Alright, so if you complain about beta uh, right. connection, alright, that's ridiculous. Alright, all right, go. Uh, graphics, amazing. Best graphics on a console, period, especially for a multi uh, people, multiplayer. People don't think uh, the, the graphics are all that on the beta, though. You see this thing? People are saying it's the same as Killzone 2. What people don't seem to get through their shit covered skulls is that Killzone 2 has the best graphics still on the console. Well, I guess you could price it on Charter 2, but. Killzone 2 graphics are better than anything that Xbox has. Pretty much better than most of what PS3 has. The gameplay is awesome. The Killzone 3 graphics are just amazing. They're gonna be amazing. Well, I mean, they're but, just, oh, you know, and honestly, the open beta doesn't really show off the graphics that much. I mean, well, it is I mean, beta, I, and, but I just played in a snow stage, and it was a huge. It was huge. I thought it was a little bit too big. Personally. You know, and here's the reason why people didn't think they were all that either. The snow stage, you got snow going everywhere, so it looks kind of blurry, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they have snow going everywhere, no, everywhere no, no. You know what, you that, see all that That stage, shit. the graphics are like, they look sick. It's, I mean, maybe they're playing on like a tube TV from yeah. like 1985 or something, because my TV, that shit looks sick. Yeah. Um, second of all, the only thing I, I probably have to complain about on it is that I didn't see that you could customize your guns, like add scopes to it. No. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, I kind of like the fact that you, like, I like on Call of Duty and I shit. I told you couldn't how, do how you could, yeah, I know, but I think that's kind of a problem. And then you bring in the Call of Duty. All right, go. No, I just like how you can change scopes and do this and that. I just thought they should have done that. And uh, I didn't like how, all right, I like the way it moves and everything, but when you aim, it aims slow. Like, kind of how it kills on two aims. I, that could probably be adjusted in the options. I didn't really try it, but that's just my only negative thing, I guess, to say about it. Game is good though. It's sick. Uh, you know, it's it's a good game. It's like I don't see how people are bad mouthing it. It's a badass game. Uh, Ryan, you, you were just like I don't know about Killzone Three though. No, I'm yeah. telling you, like to tell you the truth, I don't know. All right, I'm 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 right now. I've been playing Dead Space Two, multiplayer, and I'm going to Dead Space Two over Killzone Three open beta. But then again, that's the open beta. You know, I'm saying Killzone 3 is good. I can tell you it's going to yeah, be a bad ass Yeah, you kept saying it. You don't want to even play with me on, on the open beta anymore. No, I didn't because I was getting disconnected. I was getting, you know... Oh, well, we could probably try it today because we'll, everybody we'll try hates it, out, it. We'll try it out again today. All right. So, I mean, it's not <clears throat> a bad game, though. My turn. <clears throat> First of all, people are only playing about an hour, two hours of it, and you're not unlocking shit. I got a couple of squad points that you guys are not even using, I bet. Those, you got to... When you're respawning, push square, and then you're able to rank up your, uh, well, I'm a medic, so you're able to rank up your heals, so you, you're able to heal them more and actually equip them with more clips and a grenade, or you go to level three uh, medic, which uh, be able to uh, revive them to full health with a full ammo and two grenades. You got to unlock those drones or that regeneration shit that were, uh, oh, what do you call it, Aurora? You roll? I don't even know what that. Alright. Well, if you get close to a partner, he heals them. 
That, 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 you see, that's a secondary medic thing. You got the drones. And the level 3 one is where you're able to actually get the drone. And the drone, if you die, if the drone's still up, you're able to pick, revive yourself up. Yeah. The drone revives you. You, know, you see, uh, people are, you see, I played the closed beta. And I got everything pretty much unlocked. I got unlocked everything for the medic. And I loved it. I was like, wow. The things that I unlocked for the medic class, I was just amazed of it, uh, how much better the online play was. Now with this open beta, I got up to level two medic, uh, uh, level two medic and a level two secondary medic uh, class or whatever they use the for the drone. And then I got to unlock the the second gun and my pistol. I was I I played I played like two three hours of it because I already knew how what to do. I was usually first place. I already got used to it because most of these fools haven't even played Killzone 3 or Killzone 2 in a long time and they're like, ah, oh, I can't yeah, play it. You know, then again though, a lot of people on this, uh, they don't even know what's going on because I, I, even me, yeah. I used to play Killzone 2 a lot. Yeah. Right? And on Killzone 3, uh, I was kind of confused with the yeah, objectives. Yeah, he was, he was confused. He was like, oh, I guess what, what am I supposed to do right now? I guess what it is because I didn't play Killzone 2 in like, yeah, it takes it takes time to get used to it. You know, so right. um, and, and then again though, it's not as easy or accessible to get into as I would say Call of Duty is, just because it's more it's a more realistic game. Like I know you're fighting robots or Hellgas or whatever, but the over, the way everything moves, the way the gun shoots, it's way more realistic than Call of Duty. So if you have people saying that they like Halo or Call of Duty, they it's just not as realistic. It's not that they're better. They're right. just not realistic. You know what I mean? All right. That's I'm gonna go ahead and just say this guy's name. Hip Hop Nintendo MMA. You're saying the map was short. Well, I'm guessing that you mean the map is is real small. That's what I'm guessing that you're saying. That ice map well, I'm is the ice map. huge, man. That ice map is big. You know, I thought the map was a little bit too big, actually. That is one of the... The, on the closed beta, that was the biggest map, I think, in my opinion. Because there were so many stairways. There's three floors. You could go yeah. all the way on the bottom of the floor, and you'd be like, where the hell am I at? Yeah, like... like a lot of, it, it got, on that closed beta, I didn't like that map because I was like, you know, I was really lost on it. But now on the open beta, I knew where everything was and this and that. My brother was getting lost. Yeah, I was playing with Champloo. He was getting lost. Knockout was getting lost. It takes time to get used to it. Yeah, then, yeah it's, like that that every, it's like that with every stage. Exactly. Uh, even like on Call of Duty, there's. On Call of Duty, you gotta you gotta play the maps. Yeah, first, there, like when I first got it, there were a couple maps. I was like, what's, what's the biggest map on Call of Duty right one now? Black got Ops. Me, on Black Ops, I can't tell you, but the one on Modern Warfare that like, used to get me confused was the was the raining map, with the. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I know what you're that talking about. That raining map. That one, whenever, well, that's when I first got I'm the game. Yeah, like, I was like, well, where am I going? Yeah. But, you know, you just gotta get used to the game. Get yeah, used to the maps or whatever. The but maps, the map was huge. I, I can't see how anyone would say it was short. It was three levels, uh, third floor, second floor, first floor. It was huge. There were stairways here, little pathways here. Yeah. The map was too big to me. It was That thing was huge, man. You know, and, and for some reason... Killzone 3, it, it, it is, in my opinion, it's going to be game of the year. Think so? Yeah, I think so. Well, you know what? For me, it would be. And then, for me, for saying that, people are going to say I'm a, I'm a fanboy because of that. Yo, no, it, man, it just is. Dog. The online and all the customizations that you can do. You see, I showed y'all, I showed my subscribers the customizations that you can do for each class. It's just amazing of how much you can actually improve and everybody. Yeah. It's gonna take forever to rank up. That game is beautiful right there. No, I mean, I and that's what I like. Y'all guys didn't play the jetpacks. Y'all guys didn't play on the mech warriors. Y'all guys did not even understand what was going on from the closed beta to the open beta. A lot had fixed. Like on the closed beta, you were getting stuck on staircases because. Uh, when you're trying to walk upstairs, you got stuck or something. There was a couple of things you got stuck on. But they were able to patch it on the open beta, so you won't have that problem. So you got to understand that. From the open beta, closed beta to the open beta, there was a lot changed. Because the SMG on the closed beta looked different from the open beta. Now, when the open beta and the full game comes out, you're going to see a big difference on it. Just wait. It's just like Mag's beta towards the full game beta. Yeah, everybody remembers how mag beta was. Yeah, that I, was straight up shit. I hated the mag beta. Mag beta just straight up was crappy. Now when the full game came out, it just blew out my mind. I was like, wow, so much has, can change between the open beta and the game. Yeah. 
And y'all guys are saying, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get kills on three because you know it's open beta. To be honest, you that if, if if you think that way about a game, don't get it. You know, it, it's a badass game. Like screw them. You know what I'm saying? Like if here, you don't want here, the game, don't get it. Here, here, yeah, it's not like when you try to say no, it's not they're, innovative. They're, they're just saying. They're just saying. Oh, oh yeah, when they're for saying it's not. Hold on, whoa, let's go. go for innovation. What more do you want from a first person shooter? Why is Halo Reach so much more innovative than Halo One, Two, or Three? You know, why is Call of Duty Black Ops more innovative than any of the Call of Duty games? They're not innovative games. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Here's, here's, a, here's, here's a another thing. Hip-Hop Nintendo MMA. You say that Killzone 3 is overhyped. Let me tell you the most biggest overhyped game ever. First-person shooters. Call of Duty. Overhyped. Halo's way Halo's. Overhyped. You know, I think Killzone's not even hyped at all. Even by the fanboys, it's really not that overhyped. It's not. Like, People... <laughs> Fanboys hate Killzone 2. Yeah, you know, like I got. They a, hate Killzone 2. Yeah. A lot of people hate Killzone 2. They don't want to play it. Yeah, it's. That's I'm actually, trying to get online on Killzone 2, and people are like, no, I got the game. I sold it already. Isn't that, man? Yo, that's the thing. You know, I'm glad people are hating on Killzone 3. Cause first of all, those shows use from the noobs. Well, that shows you who that's, can't take that, that's my, in my opinion, they can't handle Killzone 3. That keeps the scrubs away. From the actual competitors on Killzone 3. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The real pros that I know on a couple of them on my PS in this, me, including myself, yes, I am saying it. I am badass at Killzone, I say. In my opinion, I think I'm a beast on that shit. And that, uh, and to keep away the noobs, I'm glad. Kick them. Mm. Get them out of here, man. Yeah, but I mean, hate on Killzone 3. I want no, everybody you know, to kill on 3. To me, though, if, you were, if you're gonna say that Halo. Call of Duty is better than Killzone. That's a ridiculous statement, just because the graphics on Killzone are better. It's way more realistic. Well, I don't think anybody the movement on Kill. Then that guy uh, you were just talking about saying nah, like, like he liked Call of Duty more, or he liked. Uh, well, that's that's his opinion, but I mean that's an opinion, but still, it's like it's ridiculous. Cause the graphics on Killzone shit on anything that. Anything that Call of Duty, no, but that, that's what he binds together. Uh, that's what he prefers. So that's well, okay, all right, all right. But I'm but talking about these other people. Like just the, just the way your guy moves with the three. gun, the graphics, the the gameplay, like it's so realistic. I like realistic shit. You know, I'd rather play something like I love Rainbow Six because it was way more realistic than uh, any of the older Call of Duties and stuff. Damn, this shit's going on too long. Uh, well, guys, thanks for watching, and these are. Well, I said I played. This is my Killzone 3 impression. I'm glad it's gonna come out. I'm buying it on day one. Hellgas Edition. Tear of Pain Clan coming soon. Clan Tag T.O.P. Y'all know. Y'all don't know what's gonna hit y'all. Right? This is Ryan's Killzone 3 beta impression. Yeah. This is my rant on people's rant. That's what I, it I is. Think it, I think it was. It was. It was above average. I'm not gonna say it was amazing. I'm gonna get that shit on day one. I don't but care. I, like, I mean, I like it though. It's All right, bad. guys. Peace. Thanks for watching. Comment. Watch this whole goddamn video, boys. I'm telling y'all. All right. Go ahead. All right.